right, Fathom K9 trainer Lauren Dalamy and I are obviously very ready for the holiday season. Yes. We are decked out and so are our furry friends. <laughs> so Christmas time is here. It's a very fun time for us, but what do we have to look forward to with our dogs? What do we have to look out for? So the number one thing I get from clients usually is the Christmas tree problem. My dog is knocking off ornaments. My dog is trying to eat ornaments. If it's a live tree, um, we have the issue of dogs eating the sap or even marking on the tree. So my best advice to you, one, definitely get training on your dog and be mindful of what your dog is doing when you're around. If you are not there, creating the dog is the best option so they cannot get themselves into trouble. Um, if you are there, utilizing commands such as place or recalling come away from the tree, stuff like that. How do we best prepare them so that they're not... Um, <laughs> Donnie! <laughs> Where are you going? Usually during Christmas, you have a lot of guests coming in the house. Some of these guests bring dogs. Now, some dogs are fine with that. They love other dogs. Sometimes they're not used to having multiple dogs in the house. They're the only dog. Um, introduction before coming in the home is important. Maybe not necessarily leash on leash interaction, but hey, let's go for a walk. Mm -hmm. Let's just walk them next to each other. Mm -hmm. Then once they're settled, then we move in the house, right? You just don't want a circus going on in your home at all times with multiple dogs in the household. Mm -hmm. Another thing that comes with guests is, I know I've seen this in my own family, my mm -hmm. grandparents are under the table feeding the dogs. <laughs> um, what are we supposed to do about that? Yes, place. I cannot stress that command enough for eating. Zabin, place. Good girl. Very nice. Good job. I have to use it with my own dogs because I have two kids that are constantly throwing down food. So when you have more than five people at your table, Food's going to get dropped, the dogs are right there. We even have the issue of some dogs jumping on the table to grab the food. Um, place, mm -hmm. place, send the dog away to a specific spot, a dog bed, et cetera. They should be able to stay there during the duration of the meal. What about dressing them up for the <laughs> <laughs> So obviously these dogs are fine um, with dressing up, but my other dog, Calhoun at home, would not love it. Mm -hmm. Would not love it. Just know your own dog. Should you get your dog a Christmas gift? You can, of course. Do you think they would love it. Look at how good Yes, it Dottie's going to have a full stocking this year. You deserve it, Dottie. You deserve it. Right? She's like, thanks, thanks. <laughs> yes, of course. Appropriate Christmas gifts, though. What, right? are, what are appropriate Christmas gifts? So we don't want to give stuff toys. We don't want to give toys that they can choke on. Um, appropriate toys for the age. Antlers are always a good option. Um, a safer alternative than maybe a rawhide. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, well, we're gonna go celebrate the holiday together. Yes! Dottie's ready! <laughs> to contact Fathom Canine, you can go to their website, fathomcanine.com, or call 843 518 0428.